I've got Marius Rue here, um, and I've asked him to come and uh, pair a great wine, one of their great wines, with my dish today. Um, Marius, I didn't, well, I did give you some indication of the dish, um, but you haven't tasted it. So, you know, it's, um, it wasn't really an easy task. So I'm, I'm really keen to know, what did, you bring, what did you bring along for us to taste? Well, Ruben, first, yeah, thank you very much. Um, today I have or decided to bring two wines, a white and a red, because I really believe that um, whatever the dish is, there's always uh, the possibility to have either a white or a red with it. And the two wines I have here tonight is uh, the white wine, is a Sauvignon Blanc, um, 2014 vintage um, from Sommerbosch. And then on the red wine, um, I have our uh, estate blend, which is a, a, a blend of Cabernet, Merlot and Shiraz. We call it Kylex, it's a 2010 vintage. And um, this is also a wine I think that will go well with what you prepared here for us tonight. Mm. Tell me a little bit more about the Kylex. Well, Kylex, um, the name Kylex, first of all, um, is the word in the Greek language. It stands for the classic Greek drinking cup. So first of all, um, that uh, shows that it's, it's a classic product that we have here. Like I said, it's a blend of Cabernet, Merlot, Shiraz, um, three noble varieties. So quite a complex wine, different um, varieties, different flavors. Um, yeah, like I say, uh, 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 something different than a single varietal. I mm. think it should go well with your Lovely. dish tonight. Um, Maris, for me, I mean, the Kylex especially, it's quite a big wine. You know, I, I love it. It's, um, it's quite a full-bodied wine. Um, am I right if I say sort of like almost sweet berries I, I'm picking up in it? Ruben, definitely, um, it, is a, it is a big wine, it's a serious wine. It's, it's, um, we're trying to make a, a solid red wine here, um, three varieties, but you're definitely right. There's, there's definitely hints of different berries, red berries, black berries. Um, it sort of gives you a, 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 a sweetness in the wine. That's not yes. really sweet, but it's the fruit of the berries that's coming through, and that makes it nice and rich. The wine was also matured in, in, in oak, cask for, for quite a number of months. That also gives it another dimension, a little bit of smokiness, um, yeah, uh, that, that, that carries through on the palate and, and makes it nice and strong uh, uh, and a complex wine, yes. It's a lovely wine. And uh, the Sauvignon Blanc also, I wouldn't say surprising, I just, I would say it's quite a, I mean, nice and fruity wine that definitely can go with quite a lot of dishes. You know, it can go either way, it can go with um, I would say it can go with red meat, and it can also go with white meat, uh, but also on its own, I think it's a lovely wine just to have on its own. Ruben, I think you're absolutely right. I, I like to call it a, quite a, for a Sauvignon Blanc, a neutral style of Sauvignon Blanc, so there's not a specific uh, 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 flavor that, that overwhelms, the, overwhelms the wine yeah. or, or, or that will um, um, maybe spoil your dish. Um, also definitely the wine that you can drink um, or, in, or enjoy on its own, not necessarily with food. Um, but I think with your dish, that wine will also go very well. Um, it will not interfere with the flavors that you have in the dish. Well, I'm still in two minds, but I, I, wanna, I wanna talk a bit more about uh, Sommerbosch. Um, I'll be honest, I've not been to the farm yet. Um, and I'd love to come, you know, well, in the near future, hopefully. <laughs> Um, but tell me a little bit more about it. Tell me, uh, you know, how, how long has it been in, in your family? Um, I mean, you can tell me how many kids you have as well. I mean, do you have, <laughs> do you, have you know, do you have sons that, that work with yeah, you on the yeah, farm? Yeah. Well, Ruben, let me, let me start. Summer Bosch Wines, um, as the name indicates, it's exactly halfway between the towns of Somerset West and Stellenbosch from where the name. It's a family farm, so um, not everyone knows about it. It's a, it's a family operation. We're quite low-keyed. Um, yes, um, I do have children, two boys, um, that hopefully together with my brothers, two daughters can continue the business one day, but that's a long time in the future. They we will not... they, do they play more rugby or do they work more on the farm? Well, at this stage, I prom promise you it's more rugby, not interested <laughs> in work, <laughs> but hopefully that will come later. Yes, um, 
yeah, like I said, that's where we're from. Um, Stellenbosch, Somerset West area, family owned operation. Me and my brother run it. Um, we share the tasks of winemaking, wine growing. Um, yeah, real family operation. And how long, how long has it been in your family? Well, that specific farm has been in um, our family now for three generations. Um, our children will be the fourth. Um, the farm was bought by my grandfather, who was a farmer in the old Rhodesia. Um, in 1948, specifically bought it here in Stellenbosch to have something close to his children that we all went to school and to university in Stellenbosch. And yeah, that's, that's where it all started from 1948. Wow. And, um, you know, do you export your wines as well? I mean, is it, is it available elsewhere? Yes, Ruben, um, we're not very big on the local market. Um, 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 we sell a lot of wine from the farm, but um, we also quite uh, big on exports. We export quite a bit of wine to Germany and Belgium, mainly those two countries. And I'm sure they love the wine as well, eh? Yeah, well, it's, we've been exporting to Germany since 1996. Um, yeah, a very good following there and a lot of visitors who come to South Africa and come and visit us and yes, very good relationship with them. And on the farm, do you only uh, focus specifically on wine growing or have you sort of like diversified a little bit? No, we definitely diversified. I think it's important and quite a few years ago, 10, 12 years ago, we also started growing some strawberries. Um, it's not on a big scale, it's quite small. We do about two hectares, but it gives a nice extra uh, uh, to the customer. You come to Simmerbosch Wines, you can enjoy the wine, you can buy fresh strawberries. We're very proud of our strawberries. Um, a lot of people say it's the sweetest strawberries in the area. <laughs> so um, maybe because it's, we don't grow them in tunnels, it's all in the open sun. And then also we have a little bistro on the farm. So it's a, it's a nice enjoyable stop where you can come and enjoy the wine, buy some strawberries and enjoy our restaurant. Yeah. Marius, I think I must come and uh, make a turn and taste your sweet strawberries uh, one of these days. But listen, I'm, I'm also interested to know what you think about um, the wine together with this dish. Ruben, um, I, I tried the wine now and I've already tasted your dish. I think it's a beautiful um, combination um, with both these wines. Um, I tend to enjoy the red wine a little bit more um, with red meat. Although I believe, like I said earlier, there's definitely a place for white wine with red meat as well. Um, but I think this is a perfect combination, um, yeah, for me with red wine and your lamb today. Excellent. Beautiful. So Ruben, why don't you tell me what do you prefer with your dish today, the red or the white? Marius, um, I think I've made up my mind here, and I'm gonna go with a Sauvignon Blanc. I really love the wine. I think it goes beautifully with all the flavors that's, that's um, uh, in my dish, from the Parmesan, that saltiness of the lamb. Um, I love this wine, and I think it can go with a host of other dishes, but with this dish tonight, I think it's perfect. So thank you, I wanna say thanks for coming. It's been great to find out a little bit more about uh, Sommerbosch and I'm looking forward to coming to visit you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Only a pleasure. Thank you.